Life with Elise. Thank you for watching. Life with Elise. Life with Elise. Share my world. Share my world. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. It's the middle of the week. And you see those clouds up there? Um, I just showed you guys, I put a little clip in um, of the um, clouds this morning. Did I miss something? I don't know if the time, what happened, why it's this dark outside. It's like 20 minutes before seven Central Standard Time and it is like nighttime out here you know and when i was looking out the window as i was coming downstairs i'm like did i miss something did time do something um should i be um up you know up for work what's going on here um so i just wanted to just jump on here and say happy wednesday to you guys and um excuse my hair the wind is blowing and it feels so good i'll fix it <laughs> when i'm done driving but right now you know it feels so good um just to be out here in this good wind wet weather driving through the woods you know i'm taking a new route right now i don't know this route but i'm just taking it because i saw some people um driving and i was wondering like how did they get um there so fast one of the ladies came up in our, my subdivision she was in front of me and i was wondering like how did she get there before me so it's somewhere that i could turn and get to the highway quicker so just asking God that his angels are bestowed on me. I think I was supposed to turn right there, guys. Um, uh, that's what I get for always taking a new route, right? But angels are bestowed on me. I'm going to have safe travels to work. Um, no accidents, no mechanical problems. Just getting myself to work safely. In Jesus' name, amen. So hope everyone is up feeling good um and i pray that today is a blessed day at work you know we're living according to god trusting his way his his will for our life giving him the steering wheel you can't drive i can't drive we need the lord so just wanted to hop on here and let you know that um we gotta get fulfilled and we have to be fulfilled according to the Lord, meaning we must be fulfilled according to scripture. The way that you become whole is get yourself in tune with the word of God. You must get in tune with the word of God. Your life depends on it. Um, so many of us, we are all out here on a tangent. We are doing all sorts of stuff and we are not benefiting for it. The kingdom of God is not benefiting from it. So why are we doing it? Tell me, why are we doing it? Why are we living recklessly? Why are we out here thinking that that day will not come when the Lord will come and take us home or cast us into the fiery sea? I don't want to go to hell. So I'm going to live according to God. I'm going to do my darndest to live. You know, I taught my kids the way that they should go. I pray that they continue to live accordingly to the way that God desires them to live and not be caught up in this world. I pray that they do this. Um, it's it's hard. Yes, it's hard, but it's worth the try. You, you people that hear my voice should go according to God. Um, you should know that without God, we're nothing. We're void. We're, we are void. We lose. Without God, we can't.
can't make it on this on this um, earth. We have to know that God is our reason. Jesus bore on the cross for us. Let's get it right. We need to get it right. Um, if we don't get it right, that day will come and we will be out of here. Why not be that walking example so that we can also win souls, help others have a seat in heaven? So why not walk accordingly? Why not do as the word tells us? Let's get our life right. Let's, let's focus on being the best woman and man of God that we can be. You know what I mean? We have to just live accordingly to God. I want to. And you know, um, not every day do I slip, but sometimes there are slipping moments. And the reason that we have slipping moments, I say the reason Elise has slipping moments is because at least you didn't get in tune with that word like you should have. You need to go back to the drawing board and read that scripture pertaining to why you're saying or doing this. And I recommend you do the same. Let's all go to heaven and rejoice with the Lord, celebrate with the Lord. You know, let's, let's all just do what we are placed here to do. Let's all do it. You know, we still have time. We still have time to live according to God. Why not? Let's do it today. So today on our call, Women on the Throne for Christ, we were talking about the fulfillment of the Word of God so that you can be whole. You can't be whole just because you're who you are. I can't be whole because I'm Elise. I haven't arrived. The scripture is what molds me into that dynamic woman of God that I need to be according to God. The scripture is what's going to mold you into being who you need to be according to God. We, we have no time to waste out here. We have to do what we need to do. Let's stay before God. Let's stay before the Lord. Let's get it right. Let's stop playing these games. Let's stop selling ourselves short. Let's stop um, just all these shenanigans. We're just playing, playing around with it, you know. We got to make up our mind. Are we going to be women and men of God or are we going to be of the world? In the world, um, doing us of letting flesh lead us what what do you want to do what are you going to do it's time for us to make up our mind you know i know sometimes when i'm talking to my children they're like okay mom okay okay but i'm gonna keep preaching till the sun comes down and sits right on my lap and i'm going to keep telling everyone what thus says the lord that's what i'm here for i'm here to get it right according to God, use his word as my examples in how I maneuver in life, and as it manifests in my life, oh my God, a deer, oh my God, a dead deer, that scared me, a baby deer, but I am, I am here to walk accordingly to God, and that's what I intend to do, so I'm sorry if I nag you, but I'm going to keep nagging you according to God. That's to you and my children and my husband. It's about God's kingdom. It's not about what we want. And I want the, what God wants. So tune in till next time when Elise talks more about God. <laughs> How about that? Well, I know it's a dark video, um, people, but I'm going to post it anyway um driving in these woods and it's dark outside you see it it is 6 48 and of course i'm going to be late all righty i love you guys i love you and please please let's get your life right let let's stay before god and live and walk accordingly let's win souls let's not think that we're better than each other let's love on each other Let's stop hating women. Let's stop hating one another. You know, talking about one another. Um, even when they're doing stuff out of order, let's lift one another up. Let's tell that other woman how she can prosper, how she can be prospered, how how she can know her worth and her value. Come on. God's waiting. Bye-bye.